Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, California. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. Klitschko's making his way to the ring right now, and you can just see in his eyes what his intentions are tonight. The Brown Bomber's unpredictability belies his ring walk focus. He is ready for action. Gentlemen, protect yourself at all times. Let's touch him up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Teddy, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher, but if you're one of the two trainers, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I can be a little bit better on defense, my power's not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. Once again to the head. One, two jabs up top. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Lands the counter. Three punches landing by Klitschko. What does a fighter need to do to really build the foundation to a great career? Well, first of all, they have to have the desire to have that great career. There has to be something in them. There has to be coal in that furnace to burn and to burn later on maybe something happened to them in their life maybe through their parents maybe through neighbors maybe through coaches somebody told them they were never going to make it and they go in their mind that they're going to find a way to make those people wrong blocks that punch good scoring counter punch by Klitschko Whatever game plan and strategy they may have come in with, Teddy, they may have just thrown it out the window. They're trading blows nonstop in the round one. Everything's been thrown out the window. Everything in the room is going out the window, and we love it. Of the talk. Here we go. Round two is underway. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Good looking counter punch. Able to 
block that away. It was targeted for his head. Good looking counter punch. Get rid of that one. How about that exchange? Parries that punch intended for the head. Halfway through round number two. Got him with a left hand. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Targeted counter punch by Klitschko. Is this a dangerous biz? Ten seconds remaining in this round. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. One. The right hand scores well. Nice block by bad intentions. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Nice block by Klitschko. A nice block by Klitschko. Well, he missed that right. Good defensive skill. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Done that time, landing the counter punch. <laughs> Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Just striking his target twice in a row by Klitschko. 
Klitschko's strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense. He's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride. And it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. of the round is upon us and if the next round holds up like that we're going to be in for a real treat no we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense a nice block by klitschko well targeted counter punch by klitschko what a chin and can you believe the shot this guy oh oh he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on Keep busy, guys. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Keep... He was stunned, but now he's surviving. Punch combo by Klitschko. Good block there by bad intentions. that gut. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Good block there by Klitschko. Very nice job landing that counter punch. Getting away from one that was coming at him. <laughs> Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that can turn a fight in a completely new direction. He did well. Yeah, you know, the old time saying was uh, bad start, good finish. Well, that's what he's hoping for, good finish. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Blocks that punch. Nice block by Klitschko. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. What guts it takes, what commitment it takes 
to keep up with this kind of a pace. The action's been nonstop. Now, the one thing I can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace. You don't think about pace. Otherwise, you could not be doing what these guys are doing. They're just going round to round. Halfway into round number five here. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy will throw hard back at him. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. There's the headshot, but he carries it away. Final 10 seconds. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecard. They're letting everything go in every punch. Good block there by Klitschko. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Good defense, just covering up down low. And a good counter by Klitschko. Boy, you gotta love being his opponent, right? You come into a fight like this tonight, you're so worried about getting off your punches, landing accurate punches. Well, here it is. Not going to move the head at all. Come and get it. No, you just have to worry about you don't hurt your hands. You better hope <laughs> that you wrap them real good because you're banging that nugget all night long. Accurate counter punch by Klitschko. Good exchange. He fires back. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Able to cover up that gut. Three consecutive punches by Klitschko. by the Brown Bomber. <laughs> oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth.
this round, we've reached the halfway point. Be interesting to see what we're in store for down the stretch of this fight. upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Klitschko's will have to hope his corner knows how to handle a cut. A crafty counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Klitschko. Halfway through this round here. up along the belt line blocks that one very nice job landing that counter punch getting away from one that was coming at him Frustrating his opponent with great defense. <laughs> Protecting his head well with his guard. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Klitschko. that belt line well. Able to get rid of that one. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Nice block.
block by Klitschko. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. He gets off with a combination up top. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pace. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. of the round here and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score yeah it was and you know it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard Marvin Hagler where Leonard stole rounds at the end where he just clipped off 30 seconds and that's exactly what the judges remember oh that's gotta hurt and a flush hook lands by Klitschko. Blocks that punch. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter-punching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shotted. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. Foot block by Klitschko. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. Good exchange. He fires back. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Fine looking combination from him now. Well, that's the benefit of combination punching right there, Joe. The first couple missed, but the third, the fourth, they landed. This round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. the left hand <laughs> oh, 
Good block by Klitschko. Good work now, backing up what he did. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the Brown Bomber. Halfway through this 10th and final round. Way to block there. Defend and then go on the offensive. How about a return to center with the left hand? Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. <laughs> Counting down towards the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. <laughs> we come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counterpunch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well-suited, he can pick him off a little bit. Lance the counter. Able to dismiss that body shot. Nice block by bad intentions. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. How about that? Another right hand. Both men accurate with their hooks against each other. Solid counter punch by Klitschko. Listen, he's still being highly competitive, even though you would have to think, if you're judging this fight at all, that he's way behind. Does that give him hope that still there's a chance that he could score the knockout and get this win? Yeah, because his attitude is still there. He hasn't given up on himself. And as long as you haven't given up on yourself, you always have a chance where one punch can separate that guy from his consciousness.
Able to cover up that gut. Double jab by Klitschko. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Combination landing there. Not able to land the headshot. Showing you some defense there with the block. One, two jabs up top. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. the mark by Klitschko. Klitschko's a pro, but he's not a well-rounded pro because a better level of fighter would be committing to the body more here, wouldn't he, Teddy? Yeah, well, first of all, he would recognize that that's where he's supposed to be going now that his opponent, you know, is taken off a little bit with those fast shoes. No better way to take those shoes off his feet than to go downstairs. by Klitschko. A headshot blocked. Why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, what special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. All the rounds in the books. For the official decision, let's send it up to the ring. Your winner, the Bob He's your winner by majority decision. Very close fight, but more importantly, a satisfying fight for everybody, especially the fans. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.